Hi, I'm John Dobish, editor of the Forbes Dividend Investor and Forbes Premium Income Report. I'm here with one of the best fixed income experts in the country, Marilyn Cohen. She's president of Envision Capital Management and author of several books on the topic of fixed income investing. Marilyn, great time to talk to you. Well, thank you, and I've been a Forbes bond columnist for 20 years. This is true. That's you can always time. read Marilyn in the pages of Forbes. So, uh, this is a really tricky time for fixed income investors. Rates on the long end of the curve are going higher. People have been hating junk bonds, but they've been doing great this year. Is there a particular area of the fixed income market that you find opportunities in now? Oh, well, first of all, I think most people have hated bonds in general over the last couple of years. And who would want a bond? Everybody wants bonds. So I think that you can be selective, whether it's high yield or municipal bonds. And um, I like both sectors, unbelievably. Okay. Because here we are in a 0% interest rate environment, the most overvalued sector of the bond market are investment grade corporates. Right. Who wants to buy a Johnson & Johnson and earn sub 2% or a Microsoft, you know, if you're buying short-term bonds? So what do you do? You be very selective in your junk bonds, your split rated, and of course your municipals. Okay. Uh, it's really a weird phenomenon. Maybe you can shed some light. When you have negative interest rates, you're paid to borrow. How does this change the whole calculus of, of bond buying and bond investing, it must really flip things on their head. It's been insanity, total insanity. And we have seen uh, that yields go negative in Euro land, you know, the German two year and five year, yep. the, the French. Are those economies better than ours? No, it's all about their quantitative easing. So you don't join that insanity, number one. Number two, that has backed up a little bit uh, over mm -hmm. the course of the last several years, years, several weeks, right. in which the negative have gone positive. And just keep focused on the U.S. bond market. Look at the nominal yields if you're looking at taxable. Look at the taxable equivalent yields when it comes to munis, and you're going to be fine. The inflationary fears that everybody has been concerned about don't exist. Commodities are down on, down on for the count. Mm -hmm. You don't see wages increasing. That would move the needle as far as inflation is concerned. I think inflation is the big 800-pound gorilla that is not in the room. How about a pick? What, what kind of a, you are talking about some high yield, be selective, you said. Select a good high yield for me. Netflix. Netflix, doing something different, doing it better. Do they have lots of competition? Sure they do, you know, from the other streamers and, and, and DirecTV and HBO, et cetera. But they rise to the occasion. They have some junk bonds due in 2021 that are yielding 5% to the worst call and about a little over 5 to the to the maturity. Nice. I'm sorry, 2023. Nevertheless, a 5% now is money in the bank as long as the company stays in business and their balance sheet is in good shape. They are junk, but they're junk because they're taking their money and they are redeploying it back into the business unlike everybody else in order to expand and they're expanding like holy heck. I'd call it a growth company. So there you go. Stream yourself from Netflix high yield bonds and check out Maryland in the pages of Forbes.